Hello everyone, myself Ian Indra, working as assistant professor in Department of Nutrition and Dietetics at KSO College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to uh, learn about eating disorder. There are two types of eating disorder. First one is anorexia nervosa and second one is bulimia nervosa. Anorexia nervosa, it implies loss of appetite. It can be described as denying one's appetite. People with anorexia place a high value on controlling their weight and shape using extreme effort that tend to significantly interfere with their life. To prevent weight gain or to continue losing weight, people with anorexia usually severely restrict the amount of food they eat. They, they may control calorie intake by vomiting after eating or by misusing lactatives, diet aids, diuretics or enemas. They may also try to lose weight by exercising excessively. No matter how much weight is lost, the person continues to fear weight gain. Causes Addictive behaviors have multiple causes. First one is emotional, psychological, social and biological which will result in disorder eating. Stress may be a strong role and a lack of appropriate copying mechanism is another common factor. Symptoms the patient is often 20 to 40 percent below desirable weight for the age and stature and appears to be skin and bones. Other symptoms are lowered body temperature, slower basal metabolism, decreased heart rate, hence easy fatigue, fainting and sleepiness, iron deficiency, anemia, rough or dry scalp and cold skin from a poor nutrient intake, low white blood cell count, loss of hair, constipation, loss of menstrual period and deterioration of teeth due to frequent vomiting. Diet therapy. The first step is to increase the person's food intake. This will help to improve diet therapy. The first step is to increase the person's food intake. This will help to stop weight loss and may help weight gain. The next is to restore regular food habits. The third is to ensure the patient keeps in weekly contact with the dietitian. The mode of feeding will depend on the condition of the patient. It is important to educate the person and help his or her family. Some points to note in the treatment of anorexics are patient need to be given intravenous feeding to store fluid and electrolyte balance when the patient is in a critical stage and is likely to get dehydrated. When patient nutritional status is precarious, give peripheral parental nutrition to support oral intake. Get patient to be a partners in the effort to restore satisfactory nutritional status, attain normal weight and develop normal eating patterns. Anorectics or intelligent patient, educate them their normal growth pattern and then intake to meet the needs for their growth. This will enable them to set goal to attain their normal growth gradually. Lastly, avoid food being the center part of their day. They need to take rest in recreational activities like music, games, reading, enjoying family company, making friends etc. to get back to enjoying normal life of which food is an important part. Bulimia nervosa, an increasing number of youngsters, especially female in the field of model, actress, dancers, athletics, go through stages of eating large amount of food which is high in fat sweet and then get rid of it by vomiting this disorder is called bulimia nervosa bulimics may eat 3000 to 5000 calories in one day extended binge and then vomit to get rid of it with respected with repeated episodes they may have chloride and potassium deficiency which may lead to heart damage and other complications Bulimics suffer from low self-esteem and depression. It is necessary to help bulimic develop self-esteem through understanding self-worth, develop a positive attitude, learn to take pleasure in simple activities and avoid depre depressing inactivity. Diet therapy. Bulimic need to understand about ep diet therapy. Bulimics need to understand about effect of starvation on the body, their nutritional needs and how to meet these through planned diet modification. Avoid fasting, skipping meals and eating inadequate amounts at a meal as it leads to binges. Keep food record. Thank you.